Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect cPanel email to Outlook in 2024. So today we're tackling an essential integration for seamless communication, which is how to connect cPanel email to Outlook in 2024. So if you're ready to centralize your email experience and enhance productivity, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of linking your cPanel email to Outlook. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use like Brave Browser as you can see in here. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. But let's start by gathering the necessary information. Of course, you'll need your cPanel email address, password, and then come in and outgoing email server details. This information is crucial for configuring your cPanel email account in Outlook. Then, as an example, so you can open your cPanel provider as an example. For me, I'll use like websites called infinityfree.com. If you want to use it, it gives you like a free access to a cPanel. So you can log in into your account, as an example, here at the top right corner, or you can create an account through register. For me, I'll just go here and click on connect or to log in to log in into my account, and I'll have access to cPanel and even file manager and whatever it is. So of course, as you can see here, you'll have access to it. And of course, what you will need to do is simply go and open your Microsoft Outlook on your computer. If you don't have it installed, make sure to go open a new tab, go, of course, type simply like download Outlook. And make sure, of course, you click on download, like download it on your PC, or you can even use it in the web browser if you want to, whatever suits you. So if you have it on your PC, open it. If you want to download it, go download it and install it. If you want to use it on the browser, go and use it. So do whatever suits you. For me, as an example, I have it uh, downloaded. So I'll simply go and open it out. So once it's open, this example like this, of course, you will have to sign in into your account if you have an account, and if you don't, you will have to go log in into your new account. Or sorry, if you have an account, you'll have to log in into it, but if you don't, you will have to go and create a new one. Now, what we'll need to do, so of course, in Outlook, you'll have to navigate into File. You'll find this at the top left corner, click on File. And, oh, it seems like uh, my account is not logged in. So let's just log in into an account. Uh, I don't know, maybe they disconnect me because I did not use Outlook for, I don't know, six months or something like that. But that's fine. So let's just go as an example and create an account. And I don't know, I don't think I'll... Let's just even create a new account in here. Why not? I guess I have an account, but I don't know if I will remember it. So let's just go and create a new account. So let's use my same email like that next. And... Okay, yeah, that means I have a Microsoft account. So I just go with this email. So outlook.com and yeah, connect. So I should just enter like the password and I guess we'll be good to go. Okay, so it's let's just reset it, remove the password and of course. Just do that. Why not? Go to the browser. Copy that in here. So, gmail, I guess, dot com. And, of course, let's just add the same email here to contact me as an example. And here we'll have to add this captcha. So, oh, that I'm trying to recover. So it's outlook.com, I guess. And click on next. Now it should be good to go. So in Microsoft's accounts, but I don't have a, yeah, but I guess it's connected to my Gmail. So let's see. And let's get the code back. Sorry for those troubles. So just go copy that in here, enter that in here. Okay, this should not be this one. Let's copy it. Paste in here, verify. Yeah, all good. So I'll just do like random things in here. Like let's say as it is. No. Let's just do this. 
CC in the region, postal code. Let's just do this next. And other passwords. Okay, it seems like what is this password? I'll just use one of my own, a new one, just in case. And no, no, next. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's good to go. So, let's just close all of that, go back here, just even cancel this. Let's see. Do this, this, and click on sign in. Okay, so I guess I just even remove this like that, and now it should be good to go. Okay, I missed, I guess, the password. I click on three options instead of one, and yeah, it should be good to go. I, okay, so I just add this email in here. I'm wasting some time, but it's fine. Because the connection should not take even a lot of time, so it's fine. Okay, let's just go back in here, go back to my Gmail. And simply go and get this code, copy it, paste it in here, next. Hello. Okay, so it's going to just take a moment. So yeah, they will log me right into my account. As I said, the connection will not, will not take a lot of time, so don't worry about like taking some time in connection, of course, with Outlook. It's a bit annoying, but it's fine. So as I said, you'll basically have to click on File, and of course, you'll have to click on Add an Account, choose man manually configure like server settings or additional settings, and of course, type in uh, all the necessary information, then click on Next, select the internet email, and click on Next again. And of course, once you're logged in here, make sure to select the account type, usually IMAP or POP, based on your preferences, of course. Uh, this is while choosing the server. This is very important to connect it, of course, to cPanel. So let's say, example, we're going to choose this. So here, you'll have to enter the server ports and everything. Of course, while you'll get that in here on your cPanel, you'll basically have to look for your credentials in here on your cPanels, of course, where you will find it. Basically, as an example in here, as you can see, you'll find the password, uh, hosting name, port, every other details that you want. Of course, you can move even to the outgoing server once you finish like with the incoming. So for the incoming, you'll have to type as an example, uh, the user and the server login information, use your cPanel email address in here. And the user, of course, entered the incoming uh, mail server details provided by the hosting provider, as I told you in here. And of course, for the outgoing server, you'll have to enter the outgoing server details provided by your hosting provider. Check the box of my outgoing server, SMTP, requires authentication. And select, uh, use, of course, the same settings as my incoming server, and you'll be good to go. Of course, you can even click on more settings, as an example if you want to to advance uh, to do advanced things if you want to of course make sure to even test everything out if see everything is working correctly and then you'll be able to go back to your outlook main window and you'll find your cpanel email account listed and you can now of course send so of course you'll find this like right here and you'll find yourself everything with everything good to go so there you have it you've learned how to connect cpanel email to outlook Thank you for watching and goodbye.